Hello and welcome everyone to the closing ceremony of the 2020 Cairns Cup. My name is Alejandro Ramirez and it's a pleasure to be with all of you. Chess has been a game, a sport, an art, however you want to see it, that's deeply rooted in tradition. And tradition is something that we've been building here at the St. Louis Chess Club. We started in 2009 with the US Championship. Next year we added the US Women's Championship. And of course, since that wasn't enough, in 2013 we added the strongest tournament in chess, the Sinkfield Cup. That wasn't enough. So last year we added the strongest tournament for females in the entire continent with the Cairns Cup. The club has given an immense amount of success to all of its projects. And truly, the entire chess world looks at the club when these events are going on. And that is due to the talent of everybody that is here present from production to the players. But of course, the highlight are the 10 ladies that are here sitting with us. It's been an unbelievable nine rounds of chess, a roller coaster for many players, definitely difficult for the commentators to make guesses. <laughs> but we had wins, we had losses, we had only a few draws. And honestly, we just had a lot of fun. This was a great tournament to cast, but I am here to introduce to you guys the executive director and one of the persons that really makes all of this happen. Tony, without you, none of this would really be possible. Tony Rich. Thank you very much. You know, I always uh, feel that this moment in a tournament is bittersweet. I'm very happy that everything went very smoothly. I think the players had a great time. I know our spectators really love the event. But it's also time to say goodbye to the players and move on to the next event. The St. Louis Chess Club hosts tournaments like the Cairns Cup or the Singfield Cup or the U.S. Championship and the Women's Championship and the Juniors and the Girls Juniors and the Norm Tournaments and the Classics. We do all of that really to promote chess. Um, you know, St. Louis has become the capital of chess in the country. Um, that is due in large part, and, and really the only reason is because of Dr. Jeannie and Rex Singfield. So a round of applause for the founders of the club. The club started 12 years ago with the singular focus of, of growing the game of chess in the United States. We've been lucky to be able to do that through major events, through scholastic chess programming, through programming in the St. Louis community as well. These events really spotlight the top players. They, they, they show you what chess can produce, the superstars, the amazing talents, these brilliant people who play the game. And my hope is that the young players from St. Louis have had an opportunity to come by the club, see all of you play, were inspired by that, and will be the next generation of women who take over the chess world. So thank you all for joining us. Thank you all for making it a great event. And back to you, Alejandra. Thank you, Tony. And traditionally here at this juncture, I introduce Jeannie Singfield to be here. But this is a different tournament. This is the ladies are the stars. So I get to introduce the husband of Jeannie Singfield and somebody with who we owe an immense amount of gratitude for all the tournaments that he's able to host and for all the projects that are happening here at the St. Louis Chess Club. Rex Singfield. Thank you, Alejandro. What an incredible event, and uh, what a great tournament, and what a great field for the Cairns Cup. I thank you and compliment all of you. This is the strongest female tournament on American soil ever, but it will be bettered next year. So, but I, I think it's fair to say that we are truly in the presence of I want to thank all the players for amazing chess, fighting chess. Most of the games were decisive. The bottom line here is women know how to get it done. End of story. <laughs> now, Joy Bray has another version of that, but I can't, I can't say that here because it's, you know, this is a PG audience. Um, so, and, uh, but you made it, you, you players made it great for the the viewership, the online audience all around the world. And of course, I have to thank 
the greatest commentators of any sport in the world. Yasser, Jen, Alejandro, Christian, Tatev, and our Russian commentators, Elmira, and what's her other name? Yeah. <laughs> yes, Anastasia. Yes. I mean, all of you are really fantastic. It wasn't that funny, Jennifer. <laughs> I forget a lot of things. What was I saying? So, um, and yeah, I thank you. And I want to thank the staff at the chess club, Tony and the Hall of Fame, and Randy and his team, Kevin and Mosul, team at Spectrum Studios, along with the team at Silverback Studios, Tom and all of those folks, which do a tremendous job, a production job for the, the, uh, the coverage, which is just unbelievable. And as mentioned in the opening ceremony for this tournament, it's named for my wife, so it's my pleasure to introduce the eponymous person of this tournament, Jean Cairns Sinkfield. You notice he didn't talk about my chess playing ability. <laughs> Although I do want to say I actually helped. I, want, I, I really wanted to thank you all for coming on Wednesday to help us teach the chess merit badge. And I actually was good enough to help one of the players. She was asking which way the pawns move, and I knew that way. <laughs> this was so much fun. Before we were talking, we were just saying, you know, this tournament's going to be so much better because people play to win. They're playing to have fun. Last fall, the Sinkfield Cup, named after him, <laughs> yes, there was 80% draws. There were under 50% draws in this tournament. So how about a hand for fighting chess? <laughs> And we had some great games, some upsets. <laughs> yes. The women, you know, Clarissa with black winning, beating the world champion. And, la and we had spectacular games. It was so much fun. It was just so much fun. You know? Going into the end, it was like we were sort of making bets. And there were like, a number of possibilities of who was going to win. This is on the last day. These are the tournaments that I like. Having a little fun. Well, okay, if so-and-so wins and this person doesn't win and that person does this, there's going to be a playoff. And the guys in the truck who've been working all week are betting for not having a playoff. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a lot of fun. And then the fun story for me is Humphy. For those of you who don't speak Hindu and aren't from India. Her dad named her a Indian word that's close to Humphy that means champion. So I, I, I think she did that this time. <laughs> so. But I do want to thank all of you from coming so far away. A couple of them were in the US, but the rest of you were from all over the world. Russia, Ukraine, Georgia, China, India. This has just been spectacular. Thank you very much for coming. I hope to see you next year. And thank you for showing the world how much more fun women's chess is. Yeah. <laughs> the next person I'm about to introduce I really think has a time machine. When I just see how many projects she's involved in and how she still has time to fix Rex's openings, I am absolutely amazed. <laughs> Please welcome Jennifer Shahadi. Thank you so much, Alejandra, but I still have work on Rex's openings. <laughs> So this tournament exceeded my expectations even before the first pawn was pushed. I mean, we have three reigning world champions, including the recently crowned women's world champion. We have three former women's world champions and just an incredible field. 
I want to give a special shout out to everybody who helped the young people that came to the chess club, whether it was signing an autograph after a game. Irina even signed an autograph after she lost a game. Very gracious. And to everybody who helped out at the community day. Also, as the director of women's programs at US Chess, I want to give a special shout out to my American friends, Carissa and Irina. You guys really got rolling on the second half, so the double round robin starts tomorrow. <laughs> I also um, want to give a shout out to our champion, Humpy Canaro. I mean, I was so impressed by her, even in that first game. One thing that chess players just dream of is making a super deep idea look simple. It's something that everybody raved about that Bobby Fischer did. And in her first victory, she did that, and I think that game will be remembered for many years to come. Um, I really... I also want to thank everyone who made this tournament possible, from the sink fields to the chess club to the World Chess Hall of Fame. There was fighting chess, as Dr. Jeannie Sinkfield mentioned, but it was really emblematic that the last game was played to king versus king. And I want to give a special thank you to Valentina for making that the longest second of all time. <laughs> and ultimately proving to us that chess is truly a game of queens. Well, I now have the great pleasure of introducing our players to you in no particular order. I'll start from right to left. And I will give, well, Chris Bird will pass around the microphones. We would like to ask you to share with us a highlight from this tournament, whether it's a positive, a negative, or just a funny story, it's completely up to you. Let's start with many, many times US Women's Champion, Irina Crush. Um, well, I think the highlight of this tournament um, was probably Carissa's uh, comeback. I mean, um, <laughs> Yes, um, I think that's something that's going to be remembered for a long time. I mean, it's not easy to play in like the strongest tournaments of your life uh, for the first time, and um, and to have it start like so, uh, such a difficult way, such a disappointing way, and then to completely turn it around and to get like four points from five games, and it just you know, it's to me, it's um, it's a, it's a really good lesson that you just got to keep going and keep fighting, and things always have a chance to turn around. Well, thank you for that. <laughs> Um, so thanks for that, Irina. But <laughs> you kind of stole my answer. So um, the, the youngest. I played with the white pieces. <laughs> okay. The youngest international master, female international master mm -hmm. from the U.S., Carissa Yip. <laughs> so um, I guess my highlight would be all the friends I made along the way. You know, <laughs> really touched my heart. You know, fantastic experience. I love you guys. Aww. From Georgia, Nana Zagnitze. Yeah. yeah, I'm. I'm really happy that I had the opportunity to come back this year. Yeah, and um, okay. I'm not satisfied with my play, but I'm really happy and grateful what you are doing for women chess here. So I hope I will have a, in the future opportunity to come back and play here again and to show my best because I just, I'm not satisfied this year. <laughs> and from India? Uh, I don't know about hi highlight of the tournament because I'm in my own world from the day one, like suffering with viral. And at some point, um, I started imagining things that uh, I have some uh, virus and I will uh, pass on to everyone in the club from the <laughs> to every everyone. And uh, then I, after my game, um, I asked uh, s someone in the staff uh, if I can see a doctor. And I was so touched. Um, uh, John uh, took me specially to the hospital. He stayed there for uh, uh, two hours. Uh, and Rex took care of my medical expenses. And they did everything to make sure that I'm fine. And this is something very touching moment for me. And uh, 
I'm really, really glad. First of all, I didn't give any virus to anyone, <laughs> and I survived. And uh, I think uh, I'm, I'm the ha happiest moment was when when the doctor told that I'm fine and I'm I'm like you know without virus. So that was my happiest moment in this tournament. <laughs> and I'm really touched by the way uh, the, everything is arranged, the, the way they take care of the players and everything. It feels really special. And uh, I would like to say one thing last time. I love this tournament so much, but I, I had some uh, less rating, and I wanted to make sure that I'm in the tournament. I wanted to gain rating. I want to be on top, and I gained 50 points to be there on in this tournament. And now to be stronger next time, I don't know how much rating I have to gain next year, <laughs> but definitely I will. I will. Uh, I'll try to come back. And thank you so much for everything and lovely tournament. And I hope it. I, I hope it continues. Thank you. Thank you. Ray. And somebody that hopefully disagrees with that virus passing around. <laughs> <laughs> yes, unfortunately. From Russia, Katrina Lachna. Yes, uh, even, uh, well, I didn't show the best uh, chess here I wanted to show, but still I'm very happy to play, to have some new experience. It was a nice tournament for me with ups and downs, and, but anyway, I'm very glad and thanks to everybody. And I want to call, congratulate the winners. Uh, girls, you are really uh, strong. <laughs> and uh, well, hope to be back next year. I hope to be on top to be here next year. Okay, thanks you and see you hopefully next year. <laughs> And our uh, world champion, well, Ji Wen Jin. About my highlight, I think it's uh, the, the every game that I try to have some fighting mood and uh, try to uh, play my best in every game. And uh, it's a very strong and a very nice tournament. I really enjoy play chess in here and, uh, well, and many things. Thank you. Former women's world champion, Maria Muzicic. Uh, I had a great time here. Actually, I liked almost everything here. And uh, I want to say thanks to the organizers for making such a strong event. Uh, also, I felt the support from my friends who's, who are currently studying here, like Ipatov Alexander and Nigar. She's currently in this hall. Yeah, hopefully next year it will be even stronger. <laughs> yes, I really like to play against the strong players. Um, okay, thanks once again, and uh, hopefully next year I will be here again, and we'll see all of you. We might be able to guess her highlight. Conero Humpy. <laughs> So may you know what you guessed? <laughs> <laughs> well, <it> surprise okay. us. <laughs> well, uh, uh, definitely my highlight is uh, like the bell ringing before the game because I always believed that chess is a very silent sport. And starting a game with a bell ring was quite shocking <laughs> when I started <laughs> off. But yes, definitely it was fun. Uh, I really enjoyed playing here and this was one of the best... Uh, uh, best tournament, uh, the strength wise and the organization wise, and also the prize money, the funding, everything was the, uh, was the was the world's best uh, event. And uh, I have to thank uh, both of you for supporting the women chess. And I see there is a lot of uh, uh, future for the U.S. chess with your support. I can uh, we have an example right down here. Uh, she has done fantastic in the second half of the tournament. Um, I also take the opportunity to thank uh, Mr. Tony because uh, it was just because of your efforts that uh, I was uh, here. Um, uh, it, it was not at all my plan to play this year, but then he made all the efforts to make me come. So I have to thank you for doing that. <laughs> thank you very much. And former women's world champion, Alexander Kostanyuk. Well, the highlight of this tournament for me was definitely coming back and why, I mean, getting an invitation for the second time in a row because, as Harika mentioned, it is definitely this tournament became such a strong motivation. <clears throat> and um, 
but alas, I lost so many rating points <laughs> last year. So it was out of reach, this top 10, and I couldn't, you know, couldn't do anything in my uh, power to get them back, uh, the points. Mm, but when I got an invitation, finally, I was so happy and delighted, and uh, I needed to completely change my plans and lost some tickets, and but <laughs> I didn't really care because uh, it's such a wonderful tournament. I mean, I fell in love with it once. I mean, the second it was announced two years ago, and uh, the second I heard about the first edition, I uh, gladly accepted it, and uh, I was just dreaming <laughs> to come here again for the second one, and dreams do come true. Uh, so it was nice and wonderful, and yes, it's definitely my motivation to get back to the top 10 to be able to be uh, invited again, to get invited again. And thank you, of course, um, Jean and Rex. It's just really a great tournament for women's chess, a great promotion for women's chess. Well, we, we do our best <laughs> to, to make it entertaining. And um, just, just I hope to see this tradition flourish in the future and many more players will come and um, enjoy this great event. Thank you. And the winner from last year, Valentina Gunina. Uh, first of all, I wanted to say sorry about my English, what I'm going to tell. <laughs> so um, I've never been laughed be like as b before in my life as in this tournament. <laughs> I got so many compliments like, Valentina, just hold on, you know, just everything is fine. And uh, um, thanks to my uh, friends, just fun, and just like it was so amazing tournament. Okay, sometimes you play so bad, sometimes it's, you play you won tournament, but okay, thank you for organizers, and thank you that you love me so much. <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you. Certainly a pleasure to have all of you with us here in this tournament. It is time to announce the winners. So I would like to invite Rex and Jeannie Singpil to come here with me as we have our top three. All right, coming in third place, edging out her opponent on tie bricks, which was direct encounter, Alexander Kostenyuk. Second place, current world champion, Ju Wen Jun. And now for the winner of the 2020 Cairns Cup, Humpy Conero.
Thank you, Rex. Thank you, Jimmy. Of course, they are the stars of the show, but personally, I would like to thank a lot of people that make this a show and an event and somebody that really, they're just a pleasure to work with. From production to my fellow commentators, Jennifer Shahadi and Yasser Sarawan. Thank you for correcting all of my mistakes. <laughs> of course, our live audience commentators, Christian Kirila and Tatev Abrahamian. And of course, our Russian commentator, so that we can be absolutely global, Almir Skripchenko and Nastya Karlovich. <laughs> and I always say that the arbiters are doing a great job when we don't hear about them. So <laughs> let's give a big round of applause to our arbiters, Chris Bird and Nastya Sorokina. Truly, it's been a pleasure to be with all of you. This has been a great event. My name is Alejandro Ramirez, and I'm signing off here at the end of the 2020 Cairns Cup. Thank you all for joining us, and we'll see you in 2021.